Brought your cars with you, huh? Yeah, we're on the road. We're all set to go. Tell us when. Welcome to Moen Center. This is the 22nd annual Billy Moen Floor Hockey Tournament. And we're your host, Barry Melrose. I'm here with Sweet Lou Nanny, yes, hockey you are. legend. Yes, you are. Uh, I tell you what, Lou, this is by far the most exciting time of the year. Uh, the, the atmosphere is electric. Fans are fantastic. Uh, everybody's in a good mood because we're looking at the hardest trophy to win in floor hockey, the Stanley Can. And uh, it's just fantastic, Lou. Let's get right into it. Uh, what do the teams look like this year, Lou? I'm, I'm going to tell you what right now, Barry. You know, it's, it's been a fantastic start to, to Billy Moen this year. Really, uh, the, the first week of, uh, of league play has been uh, ex exceptional. And, and really what, what I think surprises a lot of, the, a lot of the, um, the teams out there is the fact that the real robbers, they're, they're sitting atop the, atop the standings. And a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there's people that him and how over that. But the, the bottom line is... Uh, you know, this it's no surprise to to a lot of people that that they're playing well. Via Kong's right behind them, followed by the Seagulls, Java Squad, Third Line Grinders, Honolulu Snipers. But I, I really think if if there's a, a team, if if I will um, say that that uh, stands out, I, I really think it's it's been the play of uh, of Java. Yeah, you know, Lou, I think uh, well, I tell you one thing. I hope you didn't take too long to to get your popcorn and your lemon lime soda. Uh, oh. The last game that the the rail robbers played because boy they came out quick and they they put the puck right into the twine I, first line opportunities what's that what's that line they call it I think it's the World War Three line right World the, War Three the I, Winterfell Wood and oh, Wayne I tell you what or, or W cubed W whatever I don't know I got to go back to math class or something but you know yeah that's a great line opportunities galore a uh, lot of lot of lot of pucks on the doorstep and and you know you, you got anthony wood and that guy what, what can you say best player best so player far. in the league best, best player, player in the league, league for sure you can't even argue that and you know as you would say his play has been fantastic 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 plays hard for his coach coach gilderman oh. uh he's just you know and the other the other team member that they brought up from the Acacia League, that jumping Josh Gookins. That guy oh. has some legs and oh, some speed, doesn't he? He's I fantastic out there. This is Josh Gookins. He's off script. And that's what I love about the guy. He comes in, he gets intense, he gets excited, he brings it. You know, he he seriously comes in there, he'll paint your back porch, he'll get your Gatorade bottle, warm up the seat for you, and, and then he'll put the put the puck in the net. The guy's all over the place. And then he's, when he's done, he'll probably snow blow your driveway. He'll snow blow your driveway. The guy is the guy is multi-dimensional. He's like a Leatherman tool. You guys ever you ever have one of them? Yeah, yeah. a couple of them. A couple of them. Up, up in Saska Saskatoon. Saskatoon. I think it was, yeah. You can get them at the local Ace up there, I yes. think, by the across from the Shell gas station. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Saskatoon so the other two they brought in the the uh, there's a couple guys from the uh, I think it's the Big Six Senior League, safety Steve Johnson. He's oh. a heck of a he's got a he's got a rifle of a shot that uh, that old timer, and then they brought in uh, Jim Savri, I think it is. Oh, um, and he's one of your favorites. He's in the he, Dino Boy dog. I no way. I didn't even know about this. You you wait to tell me about this now. <laughs> oh my goodness! We got an Adina boy. Everything is good in Adina. The cake is good. The, the the you know you'll you'll hear about some food options later on. I think I, I think we might talk about that uh, with one of our sponsors. But yeah, if he's an Adina boy, he's on the team. I yeah. mean, bottom yeah. line, green is green is a good color. Good color on you too. Although we don't, we, we ain't got it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the Viet Cong here for a minute, Lou. Viet Cong, you know, when I think of the Viet Cong, I think of a bunch of little garter snakes running around in the yard. You know, as a kid, you ever afraid of snakes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I tell you. Yeah, I hate I, those snakes. Don't I need mean, to be. There's not a whole lot up in Canada, you know, because no, it's so true. cold up there. But. Uh, you, you don't need to be afraid of these snakes. Yeah, they got some guys. You know, Viet Cong, by far on paper, um, you know, they, they're, they're a talented team. 
Um, but I've seen a lot of a lot of opportunities squandered, and uh, these these guys can can be tough. They got a few guys that can move the puck up and down the ice, but uh, I really think um, the the parity is what surprises me the most this year. And the Viet Cong are a good team, but uh, you know the the bottom line with that is. Um, Teams are on to them, and I think that uh, defense is where it's going to be. And, and uh, I think if, if the if the the back checking is solid, uh, the teams can teams can give them a run. You know what's their biggest problem? I think Lou is that they're uh, they're uh, they're not very deep team. No, not they're, at all. They're playing like one line out there, and in this in the PH. Uh, uh, the PFHL, you can't afford to play one line the whole game. It, that's just that's not that's, that's not good hockey. That's, that's dangerous. That that's very dangerous. And you bring up a good good point, Barry. You know the the thing about it is there's a bunch of guys riding the pine there on the bench that are I don't know what they're doing if they're filling if they're filling water jugs. I, I haven't seen them out for a shift. Have you? Yeah, no, I haven't. I, I, I haven't know, eaten popcorn, I guess, or something. I, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna. You know, I, I can't call people out because uh, you know we got a lot of hockey to play yet. But uh, I don't know. I, I would really question why you're even on a team if you're not even going to go out and play the puck. I mean, geez, you, you got to have an opportunity to, to at least contribute for your team. And if I'm some of those 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 guys up front, the big hitters, I'd have a problem with that for yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's move on to the uh, the Seagulls. Should we talk about those guys? Yeah, Seagulls, you know, and, and that's that's the game today that's coming up too with the, the Seagulls versus the Rail Robbers. They got a couple guys. They're, they're definitely not the Seagulls of old. They're, I'd say it's a rebuilding year, if that. Um, the goaltending for them, I think, is the biggest question, don't you? I mean, I, I haven't seen anything uh, from a goaltending standpoint that has been just, just top shelf, in my opinion. Right, um, and, and there was a big controversy at the beginning of the year when uh, they brought in uh, they was they were brought in uh, Norquist. Oh, uh, and then he apparently jumped ship and uh, moved on to uh, who's he playing for now? Oh the, uh, man, oh he's on the Viet Cong. He's on yeah. the Viet Cong. Yeah, I tell yeah, you, yeah. I tell you what, you talk about stirring the pot and, and dumping the the hot sauce in and giving her an old whirl. I, he uh, he really. Uh, I, he, he threw those guys a, a curve, and, and they certainly couldn't hit it. Doesn't surprise me. It's the Seagulls, but and nonetheless, uh, yeah, that, that's that was was a lot of uh, what what do they call it uh, drama or something like that. Uh, something like yeah, that. Yeah, early on the, in the, the season. The other issue they have is they uh, that one of their top guys, uh, Linder. Looks, it looks like he's out there playing in a cute little sandal. Oh, he's, got, he's got a toe Gee. injury. It, it, it appears. Uh, you at this time of the season, Billy Moen, you cannot afford. Cannot afford to take risky injuries like that. Uh, some kind of off ice melee. I don't know what happened, but uh, it, it's risky, and you, you got to prepare for this kind of tournament because you have to be at the top of your game. You can't be out there injured. Yeah, you know, you, you got to bring it every game. And in and, and Jordan's thing, it's it's just responsibility. I think is if I had to think of one word, Barry, it'd be responsibility with him. And and that responsibility comes from being off the ice. You know, you got to respect the game, and the game will respect you. And I mean, bottom line is, he doesn't respect the game off the right. ice. And, That's right. And I mean, I don't know if he's uh, still on spring break or what. He's got that sandal on. He may as well put a bucket hat on with it. I, I haven't seen anything out of him yet. That's that's been ultimately impressive. Yeah, he's had a couple little dangles here and a couple goals, but uh, it's definitely going to be something that. Uh, you know, is it isn't going to help him? And and I expect today's game with with the robbers, they're going to bring, the, they're going to put the forecheck on, they're going to get him in the corner, they're going to get pucks deep and hold the zone on him, and hopefully take away some of that crossed ice, whatever dancey do, whatever thing they do. I don't know what the kids even call dances anymore. You know, I don't know. I don't know either. We never had dances up in Canada. No, no, no. We had wood cutting, wood cutting get-togethers, whatever you want to yeah. call it, chainsaws, steels. I was a steel guy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of bucket hats, the Java Squad has uh, oh. Mr. Oh. Pirro out there playing in a bucket hat, and oh. boy, he got off to a hot start. He he put a couple of pucks in the in the twine, and then he just suddenly cooled off. And, and you know, you know, I talked to Bryce Huffman, their goaltender, after the mm -hmm. game, and mm -hmm. and Bryce was quoted as saying, "This is a new Java. This is a new Java. We're goal scorers." And then, and then they just went downhill like a toboggan in uh, February yeah. in a, on a Saskatoon hill top. Get, getting chased by a, a, a polar bear a polar or bear, a Bigfoot or something. I don't know. Yeah, you, you know, I agree. Last, I, two goals in their two last goals. two games. You I, cannot win a uh, you cannot win a, a tournament when you're putting in one goal again. You, you really you can't. can't. And, and, you know, I think Huffman's going to rally the troops in that sense. And, yeah, Piero was a guy that I think a lot of people had on their radar, and it's safe to say now he's a sunken ship. You know, I, I don't know. He's going to have to show something. Oh, there are opportunities for him. A lot of pucks on the doorstep for Johnny Boy. He just can't bury him. And, and you know, that happens. Maybe a little bit of a slump. Good news is they got two weeks. Um, I expect those guys to, 
to try to sort of regroup a little bit and bring it. But I, I agree, you know, his bucket hat certainly isn't helping him. I tell you what, though, that Johnny Kettle, he's a huh. he's Kettle. a he's oh. a force out there, and he does have a. I mean, his his release on that shot of his reminds me a lot of the UMD player, best player in college hockey, best player, best release in the game, Mr. Brett Hall. Oh, absolutely, a lot of Brett Hall, a lot of Brett Hall connections there with him. And you know what I like about Cato's game is he's kind of one of those opportunists. He kind of hangs around. And, and, and he, he's one that kind of gets after it when he's got to. And, you know, he may not be the fastest guy out there. He may not be the meanest and roughest, but he's going to give you 110% every time. Every time he's out there, he's going to bring it. And that's a fact. I've been out there with him. I've seen it. You know, we've seen it. And, uh, that yeah, he's, I, I tell you what, if, if uh, he didn't have a Brad Hull jersey, you better get one. I tell you what I don't like about Kettle is his. Uh, we have to talk to his equipment manager because I think they <laughs> oh, put man. a. I think they gave him a youth large shirt, and uh, it's it's just. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. The the problem is we got the fitness center attached. He goes, he eats his lunch, he hits a fitness center, eats a lunch, hits a fitness center, it sharpens up his game a little bit. He's got to kind of reprioritize that, and the wardrobe malfunction is just. It, it's absurd. I mean, they got to get him a better sweater than that. I don't know if he's shopping at, at, at like, uh, uh, what's the name of the, the store, the uh, the kids' store out there? Carter's for kids? I don't know. Little that Bugs? Even? I Little don't bugs. know. I don't know. They got to get that figured out. I mean, that's that's really the character of Java Squad. If they can get those little things figured out, the big picture looks good. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Let's move on to the Honolulu Snipers quick. What do you like about uh, – they're led by the uh, dangerous Patty Rich, oh. but but I think the problem with the snipers is they're a, a player too short. They, uh, they, they need somebody to um, support Patty Rich, what? and I don't know if they have it. I don't know if they have it either, Barry. You bring up a great point there. They're a few fries short of a Happy Meal. In this case, a few sticks short of a, a full bunch of lines out there. And, you know, Patty Rich, he's he, he is. He's, we talked about a Leatherman tool. He's not quite there yet. But, you know, he's he's a multidimensional guy out there. He – He's got great vision. He's got great understanding of spacing, and and he can carry the puck down and, and do some good things with it. The, but the problem is, you got no support. You know, no support. No support. And you have to have support. You need to have fantastic support so you can put the puck against the twine and put some pucks in. And that's what they're struggling with right now. And they're playing tough, but yeah. it's it's all about uh, getting those goals in. Well, you know, they're on. They're they're on two. They they got one point total on the board and. Um, well, excuse me, they got two now that they didn't put take this week into account. But, you know, it, it is. It's just a matter of, of opportunities. And Patty Rich is creating the opportunities. He's just simply not getting them. And, and that's, that's where he needs that support with him. Yeah, he does. And, and one of the newest teams to the uh, PFHL, the third line grinders. Oh, this team, this team could potentially be the most underrated team coming in. You know, they played the Seagulls tough. Um, I, I don't think they have a standout, but their goaltending has been spectacular by Vivi Helquist. She's solid in, in between the pipes. She sees the puck really well. She doesn't get a ton of support back there from her defenseman. But what she does do is she does square up and, and really get the angle well on, on the pucks coming in. So those opportunities that are there on the doorstep, she gets the broom out and sweeps them right off. I she's tell been you what, fantastic. She's fantastic. And, and her fantastic. style is something uh, you just you got to watch this style. It's it's like cool as a cucumber. Yeah, like I'm is. just gonna stop it this is. shot and I don't. Uh, just fantastic. It excellent. Is. Excellent. I, I I couldn't agree with you more, Barry. Couldn't agree with you more. Great, great, uh, great future there. And, and this is gonna be a team that's gonna win some games yet before this uh, regular season's over. I, I know it. Well, we're gonna take a break real quick, and we'll be back. Uh, I think we have a, a message from. Uh, a special uh, restaurant that I like to go to uh, when I'm in down in Edina. Uh -huh. One of my favorites. Good. What a great uh, city! What a great city! I tell you what, let's 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 uh, break here and we'll come back and talk some more uh, Proctor Floor Hockey League. Hey, hockey fans, ever wanted to go to a steakhouse that doesn't portray itself as a steakhouse? Well, come on down to Nanny's, where you can have steak right off the menu. And if you're there long enough, you might even get to see Lou do his impersonation of Rocky Balboa as a restaurant entrepreneur. Come on down to Nanny's, where you can get your steak any way you'd like it. Nanny Bucks here. All right, we're back with Lou. Uh... What, Lou, look at I got some nanny bucks. Oh, I tell you, you know, you just saw you, you just saw a, a great uh, a great word from one of our sponsors, uh, nannies. And I tell you, you guys come on down to Dinah, you come see see us at nannies. You know, I 
I didn't want to put it in there, but people just do, you know. I tell you what, these are nanny bucks. We'll make it rain. We'll make it rain at nannies for you. You know what? I'll give you 2% off your, your full meal. That's a steal. It used to be 1%. My wife said, Lou, you, you, you got to be generous. I You're said, too conservative, well, Lou. I, uh, you know, Come on. I'm from Edina. You know, that's what we do. Uh, you know, we eat cake and, and we keep our money tight. But, you know, nonetheless, uh, come on down. Stop in and see us. I mean, all the food is great, grand, whatever. I don't care. Just just come in and stop in and see us. You might even run into you, huh, Lou? Might even, even run into me. You run into a guy like Jim Savry. Jim Savry might be down there. I tell you what, if he's down there, you'll know it. Because he's an Edina guy, and we like to we like to sport our Edina pride, you know. He'll I be, might even have my Letterman jacket on. <laughs> yeah. I hope you do, because uh, it doesn't fit anymore. But you know, we'll get her all squared up. I yeah. got a little. I got, I got a guy. I know it's a diner. There's, there's guys that uh, you know. They, there's, there's some tailor shops on your, every corner. Uh, maybe your son and grandson and nephew and uh, uncle even, and oh, all the all the nannies might oh, be there. Yeah, huh? yeah. Tyler's Tyler's good. You know, I used to be Tyler's age and his size. I won't get into that either. As sometimes I try to fit into his clothes, it just doesn't work for me anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of sounds like a Johnny Kettle. Like a, you know, I I should I should get uh, Tyler fixed up with Johnny. He could help him with his wardrobe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I know I could. You certainly. Oh yeah, you certainly could. Certainly could. It's all about comfort out there. All right, let's talk about. Uh, we got three guys that uh, or oh. three three players that we're going to talk about that uh, you, you know we're looking to uh, showcase them as making an impact this season in the in the uh, Billy Moore and Floor Hockey Tournament. Uh, let's kick it off with uh, Bryce. Hoffman Huffman. Oh, Bryce Hoffman Huffman. I, you know, what can you say about this guy? Solid between the pipes, chirps like a crippled canary behind the mask. You can never hear the guy. I mean, it's like a, a, a disgruntled pet shop in there. You know, like, what, just, I don't even know how you, you do the sounds. It's just a bunch of Tweety birds in distress. Yeah, you know? it seems like every once in a while I'll make yeah. out a word, something like yeah. maybe Johnny. I, you know, I can, Johnny I, can or say, I can hear that, but some. everything else is just a kind of a cackle, rough cackle. Yeah. Yeah, or like yeah. a bunch of flock of crows flying over, like a, I don't know, roadkill or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, the biggest thing I think about uh, Hoffman Hoffman is, you know, the the guy's last year's performance against the Dirty Seagulls. You know. Oh, he was unbelievable. Just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. He played out of his mind that game. Uh, he's a, he was key in keeping those guys in. It almost almost upset the Seagulls, which would have oh. been huge. Oh. Just fantastic. Uh, I, I can't say enough about that guy. You know, any tournament that you need to win, you need to do it with strong goaltending. Bryce Huffman Hoffman has proven to be an elite goaltender yeah. in the uh, Proctor Fuller Hockey League. Uh, again, this year, um, they're trying to get their chemistry together, but he's solid between the pipes. Just fantastic. He's, fantastic. he's definitely the foreman of the project. There's no question about that. And, and you're, you're right. It starts with good goaltending, and he has it. That's why you can't count out Java Squad. you got to bring it every game with him, and you got Upman and Net, and you got guys that, I mean, if a wardrobe malfunctions, your biggest issue, you're doing all right. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. me in the morning. Yeah. I mean, if I, if I get a sock on one of my feet, I'm good. And, and you know the funny thing about Huffman, this is this is just I this is a fact that I can't believe is there is the fact that his favorite movie is The Notebook. <laughs> Excuse me, what? I, Say that. But again, you know the the, the the Notebook is his favorite movie. This came from multiple sources. I I, I mean, you know I I'm not going to judge a guy on it. His goaltending is is superb. But I mean, he, The Notebook. Well, you know, there some guys are sensitive. And, you know, maybe that's maybe that's where he is. He's a sensitive guy off the ice. I remember walking down the hallway one day. I thought he had a cut on his head. It turned out to be some acne. You know, teenagers get. I felt a little bad about that, but he was a sensitive guy. I I, I told him that. I said, hey, I, you know, and uh, but you know, that's that that sometimes makes the 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 whole complete facet of of the individual. Well, you know, you know what they say. You know, you got to be weird to play goalie. You got to be a weirdo. You straight up weirdo. That's that's one of my favorite things about goaltenders. Yeah. They just got their things that they They're do. Just, yeah. You know, some of them eat stuff off the floor. They pick their fingernails. I don't know what they do, but you know, so maybe the notebook's a good Watch thing. Watch the notebook. Watch the notebook every yeah, weekend. I, I don't know what he. I doing. don't know what he does either. He's probably got on Blu-ray, DVD, whatever it is. Probably Netflix in it too. That's what the kids are doing on Netflix. What's that? A movie that comes to you with, like digitally. I don't even know how to work a cell phone, let alone a digital no. movie thread. You, you know how to work a hockey stick, though. That's it. That's what matters right there. That's what matters. Uh, second, let's talk about uh, the uh, Viet Cong goaltender, Mr. Lucas Norquist. <laughs> and this guy comes from a long line of, of uh, 
hockey family, oh. much like the Howes or the, oh. the Suter brothers. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, his brother, Jarrett Norquist, last year scored a ton of goals in the Billy Mullen Floor Hockey Tournament. Uh, just fantastic. Just hit the twine over and over again. This time, his brother's out there saving him. He's keeping the pucks out of the twine. I tell you what, that Nordquist, that <clears throat> the DNA is something in it. You know, he grew up with his brothers in the house, probably. I like you, know. you Lou. I like you. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Uh, it, it just extends from the Edina, Edina Green to the go for Maroon and Gold. I can't get off on tangents. That's what everybody, my producer said, don't get off on tangents. Today. And you, but you're right. You're right about that. Grew up with three brothers. Um, probably, you know, beat the tar out of him every once in a while on a street hockey game and toughen the kid up. I you shouldn't call him a kid anymore. He's, he's a straight up force in the net. I mean, Berlin Wall, what? I mean, he's, he's for real. You know, he's a real deal. We saw him make some saves yesterday. It looked like, uh, I don't know, looked like magic was happening. Out oh, there. he stopped Kittle just point blank. Just Houdini just, stuff. Uh, and same with uh, Noah Ward. Just uh, shut him down, shut took him, him down. out, just made him. Uh, just wonder what was, I mean, they were looking at their sticks thinking, what's wrong with this I, thing? I was concerned with Noah Ward yesterday. I thought he was needed to go down and see guidance counseling for a while after that one. You know, he's like a spider monkey in that. You know, you know, a yeah. spider monkey, you know? I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, <laughs> I he, he is, I, he's something. You watch him do one thing and you're just wild and then you, you, you got to watch it because then you miss it, he does another. It's another, it's another case of that, you know, to win championships in this league, you need elite goaltending. And this guy's got it. And you said it's solid gene pool like the Suter brothers. And the interesting fact about him is he hates the Seagulls. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where that came from. Oh, I, wait a second. I forgot there was some drama earlier with the Seagulls. So this may have been just another opportunity at the doorstep for him to, you know, grab and go. Kind of turn the screw, right? And it turned the get screw. Get a leg up and uh, anything that you can do. I tell like you what, Phillips, Luke, like Yeah. Phillips screws. Yeah. 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 Uh the third player that we want to showcase today is Miss Julia Sunquist. Oh. And she's uh coming from the European pipeline, uh yeah. Norway, way up above the Nordic circle, and that's that that makes her a tough, tough player to play against. This let me tell you guys something. This is where you never know. You never know, people, okay? You never know. Pick her up, European pipeline, tell you what. Uh Got in early on the on the scoring. She drew flirt, first blood of the tournament, and uh, I tell you, you know, she is she's a dagger out there. And that's the the real robbers. They've got two women. Well, really, four four women players that are all exceptional at, at their positions, very skilled. Um, that that really help kind of drive the bus there. And you know, the the funniest the funny thing about her is her bark is as big as her bite. She comes down. She looks great vision. Um, again, creating opportunities, putting pucks on the doorstep, and, and allowing guys like Anthony uh, A Grade Wood to, to bury him. Uh, Mizgen out there too. He's a he's a tough one. You can't count him out. And Gukins, I, we already said that about him. We went off script on that guy. He's just he goes nuts. All we look, you know, he, what can you say? I tell you what though, that Julia, she's that shot. She's got a heavy. Heavy shot. Oh, uh, she brings it, and it's fantastic. Let she me tell you, fantastic. puts the mustard on the hot dog with that shot. Let me tell you that. I, I, it is like a laser. You ever play that laser take down at the fun zone or whatever it's called down there, where the Couple kids go? Times. I have. Oh yeah. man, like sometimes you know, I, I always go there with Tyler. You know, he gets excited, and uh, we we don't wear green out because we like to be kind of incognito. But some of those lasers just, boo, 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 go by. You know, you look and it's like, where, where am I here? You know, and her, her shot is just like that. I put her in a game of that laser tag. Your shot looks just like one whizzing by yeah. your head, you know. Just I just of, I just get out of the way. Yeah, I yeah. know, no, and yeah. that's uh, it's exciting yeah. to watch. Yep. It's it's really exciting. Um, those are the three three players to watch this week. Uh, now we're gonna head off and and uh, take a little break here. Have another word from our sponsors. We'll be back on Moen Center.
I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good catering service. And I kept searching and searching. Ugh. There are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you are looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Oh, Lou, hey, hey, have you ever eaten at that generous Johnny's? I know there's a couple, I think they, uh, there's a couple up in Saskatoon, one in Saskatchewan. Uh, is there any in Minnesota down by you in the diner? You know, you know what? I, I mean, I know that'd be competition for you, Lou, but. Yeah, you know, I, I, I hope they don't open one in Dinah because, you know, we serve really garbage food and I don't want another garbage place to come in and take our, you know, our mantra away. I did eat one up in Yellow Kniff. Uh, that was a good one. Um, you know, greasy, you know, I mean, bottom line is, you know, you get done, you want to you wanna make sure you're close to a place that's got some indoor plumbing. And up there can be an issue, you know? Yeah. I, I, good talked, burger, to, I talked to Johnny, and he says, uh, he told me, and I think it was in his commercial there, he said, never trust a skinny cook. He, he, that's it. That's what he said. Yeah. I got to do some issues with my kitchen staff then. I, I, that's a you, separate. Are you hiring skinny cooks? Too? I don't know what my problem is. I, you know... I, I got my guy who, who runs a show down there, and I trust him, but I, I might have to go in and maybe do a little bit of that, uh, that un undercover uh, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Get some yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. sunglasses and maybe uh, a little mustache, mustache nose. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, let's talk quick about what's coming up this week in Billy Moe and Floor Hockey Tournament. Uh, you know, we're wrapping things up. I'm just going to keep this brief because I think we covered everything that we needed to cover uh, games, games coming up today. Seagulls, Rail Robbers, going to be a good one. The one I think everybody's going to want to want to check out is uh, is definitely going to be the uh, the Java versus the Gulls tomorrow. Going to be a good one. Um, but I think the players to watch this week, um, you know, there's 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 a number of players to watch. But but today I think you're going to want to watch the goaltending of Tony Michaela if he comes back and you know gets in net for gets between the pipes for the Robbers. Otherwise, you know. Uh, He's Jake. coming out of the Northwood Northwoods League, Northwoods uh, League out, yep. of Duluth, Duluth, out of Duluth, Minnesota. Yep. They yep. make they they have some great hockey players coming out of there. The UMD Bulldogs just won the national oh, championship. man! With fantastic, excellent play, great coaching. Yep, unbelievable. Yep. Yeah, unbelievable. So I mean, those are some things to watch. But you know, I think next week we'll have a lot of lot to talk about to recap the week. And uh, you know, I think the other one to watch uh, to watch again this week is is. Uh, is definitely going to be a, a Ben Harnell for the Kong. He's a, he's a solid player. He's shown a lot of flashes of uh, brilliance out there as well. So a couple guys to a couple guys to watch, and uh, you know Julia Sunquist again can't can't keep her out for the robbers either. Uh, you know one one thing to note that I'll touch on quick before we leave here. Uh, yeah, uh, Moen Center is that you know the the play's been relatively clean out there, and uh, you know haven't had to put anybody yeah. in the sin bin yet, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. which is always good. Right? Yeah, right. Oh, you we gotta uh, stay out of the sin bin. You gotta, I mean, if, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play of, smart. You gotta stay out of the sin bin. You can't go to confessional every day, and, and you're exactly right on that. You know, don't take penalties that are worthless penalties. You, you gotta you gotta do that. I expect this next week why the the kitchen's gonna get hot, and if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen, right? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. it. You got to play it, it clean. Play yep. it. Play it strong. That's right. Play hard for your coach. That's right. Well, that's this week's edition of Moen Center, coming from uh, the great Proctor High School. Uh, my host Lou Nanny. We'll be back next week with some more action from the hardest floor hockey league in the nation. Don't forget your nanny bucks. Come see us.